fucking terrible at this game. That was your pseudo date. <sighs> Leave it alone. That chick bugs me. Oh, everyone bugs you. Get off. Fucking faggot. Did you see that? Your dyke courting ass just got me scored on. She's not a dyke, all right? She's a lesbian. What the fuck is going on here? Starting a new page. Not with this shit. What the fuck is going on with you and that girl? She's just a friend. She's programming you. <laughs> Beg your pardon. She's programming me. Yeah. And apparently you don't even realize it. What does it matter if I refer to her as a dyke? Or if I called the whalers a bunch of faggots in the privacy of my own office, far from the sensitive ears of the rest of the world. Well, it's passive-aggressive gay bashing. I, I mean, I know you're not prejudiced in the heart. You should just pick another way to express your anger. That's all I'm saying. All right, look up. What are you doing? Just bear with me for a second, okay? I want to put you through a little exercise. Now you see this? This is a four-way stop, okay? And right here in the center is a brand new, crisp, $100 bill. Okay? Now at the end of each of the streets, there's four people. Uh, are you following this? Yeah. Now over here, we have a male affectionate, easy to get along with, non-political agenda, lesbian. Okay? Down here, we have a Man-hating, angry as fuck, agenda of rage, bitter dyke. Over here we have Santa Claus, and up here, the Easter Bunny. Now, who's going to get to the $100 bill first? What's this even proof? No, no, I'm serious about this. This is a serious exercise. It's like an SAT question. Who's going to get to the $100 bill first? The male-friendly lesbian, the man-hating dyke, Santa Claus, or the Easter Bunny? The man-hating dyke. Good. Why? I don't know. Because the other three are figments of your fucking imagination. I, I can't deal with this shit right now. 